Frat Props and Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how to make this adorable little Monster Book of Monsters tree ornament. This one is based on foam to keep the weight down. Okay, for this you'll need some fur, a thicker piece of foam, about half a centimetre, nice and thin foam, just the one mil thick foam, some cardboard, a piece of ribbon to hang it on the tree with, and just a little bit of cord, it really doesn't matter what colour, to sew the ribbon into the top. Some paper to make your monsters, some eyes, and some paper to make your teeth, and a little red tongue. Okay, the first step is to wrap your black piece of foam with the brown. So all I'm going to do is just hold it against it and cut the corners. So the foam folds in easily. I'm just going to attach it with some double sided tape. So just go and place it as best in the centre as you can. And wrap your brown sides around. Once you've got it attached, go around and trim your brown foam up so it's flush with the top of the black. So just sew it neatly along that edge. And cut the excess corners off. So you should just have a neatly wrapped brown box. Next step is to glue him on to your fabric. Now I found it best to glue it and then trim it. <laughs> so all you're wanting to do is get just some craft glue and glue it onto the back of your fabric, back of your little foam piece. Try to be pretty sparing with the glue because it does take forever to dry. And try and get a nice even spread. Once you've got that, stick it down as close to an edge as possible. And then folding it over and gluing the top edge as well. Try to pull it as tight as possible because you don't want it to come unstuck later. Just give that a few minutes for the glue to dry. While we're doing that, we'll get started on little monster teeth. To make your teeth, you're just wanting to make a piece of cardboard the same length as your monster, which is six centimeters, but I have left my ruler somewhere. And then along one edge, all you're going to do is make tiny little sharp teeth. You only want them to be about 3mm long. And just cut little triangle teeth all the way along the full 6cm. Once you've got to the edge, you just want to go back about a centimetre and cut it off. And then you want to do another row of teeth for the top. So just the same process again, little tiny triangles.
once you've got that, the same again, just cut off about a centimetre and save your cardboard for making your monster. Now that should be dry enough to continue. All we're going to do is go, just go around with your fabric scissors and trim back the monster fur. Just starting on the front edge, trim it back. You want it to poke out just a little bit further than the brown. And obviously, that side's because we lined it up, it's already trimmed, and we'll just do the far side. Now we're going to make the words that go on top. So for this you just need a fine tip sharpie. It doesn't really matter what colour, I've gone with a really dark blue. And then you just want to write relatively small, I've kept them to less than a centimetre. If you want to make sure your lines are neat, just Draw the line with a ruler first. Once you've got the first part, just grab your scissors, starting at the top corner, just round it around the M. So just twist your paper so you get a nice round and then follow it in. I went with this design because it's the same way the felt is on the original book. And then the same when you get to the other end, just curl your paper around so you get a nice curved finish. And then same again with this one. And of course you're wanting to little eyes. Just now to attach these to the top, I'm going to be using some hot glue. So all you're wanting to do is just put a couple of dabs of hot glue across the back. Try not to have any ridges. And then straight down on top. Just press it into the fur. And then the same with your three little eyes. Just put a tiny dot on the back. Let's get rid of any little straggly bits of blue. You can of course use double sided tape for all of these parts. Now, once you've got that, you need a straight edge. A metal ruler is best for your teeth. Line them up to where the bottom of your little egg triangles were. The strange your hand and fold them over. And then you just have your little up teeth. And the same again with your top row. It doesn't matter about how long the piece at the back is because you'll only see the very front of the teeth. It's just to attach. Just go ahead and fold them over. And then all you're going to do is slide them into the gap between the fur and the foam. I'm just going to pick him up. And the same again with the back. Just slide him in there. 
once the glue is dry they will all stay in place. Just put a little bit of pressure on there for a minute. Now you're also going to want a little red tongue. For that I'm just cutting out some red foam, the same one mil foam as I used to coat the book. And you just want a nice tongue shape. And then grab your sharpie again and just put a little line to make it look more tongue-like. Let's put a little bit of dab of glue on the back of the tongue, make sure it sticks. And then slide him in, whichever side of your mouth looks more open, slide him in and put pressure. Now the last step is going to be to attach the ribbon to hang him on the Christmas tree. For that you will need a needle and thread. You can just use glue. I found that if you use the glue it comes undone easier. I found that sewing is a better option. You only need a very small piece of thread. Just double it over and tie a knot in the end to make life easier. Now I've chosen the red felt. I just feel it works. You can use whatever colour you want. Even just some fishing line would work if you don't want a colour. Let's go ahead and sew the ends together quickly. Now take him to the top of your monster. Line it up in the middle as best you can and just go straight down, pick up the top layer of fur and come back up. You can of course do this step prior to gluing all together which might have been the better option but this is the way I did it the first time. Just put a couple of little threads in the top. You won't see it once the fur is all back in place. Now I'll just chop him off. And there you have it. Fold your fur back up over the join. And you have an adorable little monster. It will take a little bit longer for your glue to dry to fully set, probably an hour or two, but once it has, he's ready to be hung. Thank you for watching today. If you've enjoyed our video, please subscribe.